the government was supposed to all give us free COVID testing if we wanted it, right? So I postal service, postal around. service, postal service. That's right. Postal service. Sorry. <laughs> But it comes, <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, that's, okay. So I order it. I don't know. It took two weeks for it to get here. And I'm like, after two weeks, I'm like, where the fuck is this thing? So I go back online. I research it. And uh, they say, oh, it's something that's going to be delivered. I got it two weeks after I fucking ordered it. And I had to call the U.S. Postal Service, Eddie, and put a trace on it. And I finally got it. So let's open it and see what's fucking inside. But I got it. So maybe someday I can sell it on eBay and make well, a those, million those, dollars. Those tests are all retail right now in like Walgreens for like $23 for that same the same ones they're mailing out. And you get four per home. This is the... Um, right. I, I only could get one. I tried to get like 12 dozen and that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, Clinitest. Clinitest. I mean, has anybody had a COVID test? Oh, I mean, I've, up so I've, we can I've had, see had about, uh, I've had about 12 oh. of them. Uh, yeah, what's that say? Blake, let's go. Yeah. It looks like there's be like a KY jelly in there. So it looks like a KY jelly box. It, it, it reads like a pregnancy test. It'll come out with the one, right. one swipe or two swipes. Oh, no. Rapid COVID. Are you going to take it? Fuck no, I ain't taking anything the fucking government gives me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Cont <laughs> contents of kit. Five test devices. Five sterile swabs. Now, I've had that shit up my nose. Five extraction tubes with buffer and tips. That kind of hurt. It, it hurts when it's up there, oh, too. There's, there's... Well, that's what the KY jelly is for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good, good call, John. Good call. Oh. I thought the lady was trying to take a piece of my brain when she was going to do the COVID test. We're like, oh. I know that hurt. I did that well, a few yeah. times. Well, there's the shit you stick up your nose. I don't know what's in these one, two, five packets. Let's open one. This is like opening baseball cards. One of my favorite things to do ever. But you don't put Opening them in the spokes of your bike. <laughs> 1969 top here. Oh, I guess I could fucking take it, couldn't I? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you know um, the results. Do it, of... do it, do it. I'm going, I think I'm, okay, if I die. Oh, hey, hey, Anthony, tell me what kind of insurance <laughs> if I policy. Die. If I die, do you guys all get a bunch of shit? I want the pots yeah, and pans yeah. behind you. <laughs> yeah, with the giant oh, cash poster. <laughs> well, yeah, giant cash poster. That's, that's, that's the one you're going to want. <laughs> now, actually, the pants are good because you can cook them out in the woods. Or Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'll take a stab at it. I don't know. All right, while you you're doing your that. Fucking mouth? Yeah, let me figure this out. No, I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> okay, but I'm not going to waste my time. I wanted to let you know that the numbers I came up with, the confirmed cases in totality in the U.S. was 79 million. And... 79,090,842, but the death total was 952,065. Uh, so that was what I found in a table of death count. Isn't that nice? Um, on a, on a, on a yeah, news site. But it's got a California uh, was number one in reported deaths. Reported deaths. That's just what they know about. And I think New Jersey top ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. New Jersey was number ten. Ohio was what five or six. Whoa. Michigan was nine. But but here's the thing: Are the deaths being? Yeah. it's a data manipulation. Exactly thing. right. This is data. reported. Are, are, are reported the de are deaths. the death okay reported? But are the reported deaths were they caused because of COVID? They came in with COVID, or is right. it they got it when they were in there because they had uh, additional illnesses? Well, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of those numbers, and that's why they're so high in states like Ohio. That has right. a um, high percentage of elderly. A lot of those people were 89 years old, and a cold would have killed them. So, right. I mean, 
But even even still, that, as a COVID related death, then you know that's kind of a manipulation of the numbers. Even if the numbers are manipulated, the mortality rate in our country is only one point two one percent. Globally, the mortality rate's one point three seven percent. So Americans live more than the rest of the world with COVID. Um, but the the flu, oddly enough, in the United States is one point six four percent. So right. a higher percentage of people die from influenza than die from COVID. That's that Isn't was that crazy. The, that was the outcry from the very beginning with all these mandates and all these changes and this and that mm. and. You know, they don't mandate the flu shot, you know, so um, that that was why a lot of people, I think, were really pissed off because somebody like myself, I'm healthy. I got nothing else wrong. No underlying conditions. I get COVID. I'm going to be out of work for a couple of days. I might feel like shit for a few days and I'll be back to work just like a cold, just like the flu. Now, if you got problems now, now it could be cause of death. And let's not forget that the medical provider gets $14,000 for every COVID-related death from the federal government. So, yeah, they might have come in, like John said, 89 years old with lung fibrosis, but the cause of death is COVID because they tested positive in their, at, their, at their autopsy. You know, like that's, but that's a money thing now. That becomes a, a money issue, $14,000 per death from the federal government subsidy. Um, that's why the manipulation of numbers was what it was. That's a lot of money. John, did you do any research, and, and Eddie, did you guys do any research on the actual, actual vac- vaccination, the vaccine? Um, I did, but my dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Lovely. that's going to work. It didn't work in school, and I don't think it's going to work now. Uh, yeah. Actually, I didn't do any research, um, partially because I knew Eddie would. Yeah, well, so, I, I, could break, I could break it down for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was, I was oh, hot about. That was good. I know Eddie's going to take care of that. That, that. I appreciate that. That means I, I'm stable. I like that. Very, very, um, that's my confidence level in you. <laughs> um, but being, I mean, I, I went to school for biochemistry. So when this stuff first came out, of course, I was. It was like a hot nut. I was on it, and the basically the way the vaccine, and I always say vaccine air quotes because it's not a vaccine. It's, it's, Georgia, you always call it an amino booster, and that's really what it is. So what the SARS virus does is when it enters your body, it's like, um, imagine a criminal coming in somewhere and saying, shh, you don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. So the, the COVID virus comes in, sneaks into the body, the body doesn't react because it's, oh, okay, we don't see you. What the vaccine does is it tells your RNA, your mRNA in your body, to say, be on high alert, re- respond to everything. So when the COVID virus comes in and the COVID says, Shh, say, oh no, alert, alert, alert. So you get a better and faster immuno response. Where before, if you don't get the vaccine, you would get a, a very slow response to it. So by the time your body's reacting, you're already messed up. You're already in bad shape. That's why people with pre-existing conditions were dying so much more prevalently than somebody who, who wasn't. My body will catch up and beat it. But that 89-year-old woman John mentioned, no, she ain't going to catch up. So with the, with the vaccine, air quotes again, is it, it's an immuno booster. But it does alter the way your, genet- your, your mRNA is going to function. So what it does is long term, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the way your body is going to react to any antigens coming into your body, not just COVID. So it could be something coming into your body like the flu shot, which is technically an antigen. You're getting a dead part of the virus. Now your body's right. going to react to it. So if you have the vaccine and you get a flu shot, you're going to get sick. Mildly, probably, but you're going to feel something where you didn't feel something before. People who get sick after the flu shot usually means that they're, they would, you would think that it means their immune system's not good. It's the opposite. It means your, your immune system's really good. So if you get sick with the flu shot, that means your immune system's already really good to begin with. So well, that's, that, that's what this does is it, it basically, it tells your body to not ignore those sneaky viruses coming in and saying, you don't see me. The SARS viruses are all like that. They come in like cloak, cloak and dagger. You know, they're coming in back door and quiet. And that's why they're... And, and the other problem with it is, and this is why the government was hot on it, it's communicability, the, the way it's infected. Most viruses, you know, you need direct fluid contact. You need kissing, like mono, you know, that kind of thing. With this, I mean, really, it travels in the air for up to 15 feet. So if somebody's, somebody's breathing heavy, not even sneezing, somebody in the same room can pick up the virus. And that's why the government was so worried about it. 